This is great. Combined with those honey kissed oats, it's been a benchmark of quality in America for over 20. Blockbuster has 9,000 ways to make it up. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. I'm wearing the same thing as I was last week. So you expect that this is part two of this video because we're doing two modifications. Um, last week we did the Aerofab front splitter. So if you haven't seen that video, be sure you go check it out. Today's video is about some charge pipes. So right here, we've got our whole ECS kit of the intercooler charge pipes. It comes with powder coated mandrel bent piping, all of the silicone hoses that we'll need and the clamps themselves. So this is what we're gonna be installing today. I'm not gonna show taking the bumper off because right now, well not right this second because the bumper is still on. And I'm filming this video in two parts because the bumper needs to come off for the Aerofab splitter that I put on last week. And with the bumper off, it should make everything a little bit easier. And I'll already have the car up in the air. So charge pipes will be going on right after this clip because the bumper is off. All right, so our front bumper is off. Our next steps for the charge pipes is we need to get this intake out, our little air box or shield, heat shield out. And there's part of a charge pipe right there. And underneath, we gotta take off this little splash guard, but should have easy access to the intercooler piping. So next step, I'm gonna get the air box out and the intake and everything and get that lower splash guard off and then we can take a look at what we're doing. All right, quick update. We got our intake out along with our heat shielding. And then I don't know if you can see it, but uh, yep, that's the ground because we got our splash guard out all right here so now our next step so now we're gonna get this top charge pipe out we're gonna take off that silicone hose that we put on and once we get everything off the top then we're gonna move down to the bottom and start taking things out from below My camera's about to die, so I'm gonna show this real quick before I take out the rest of the charge pipes while my battery recharges. You can see right there the difference in the inlet outlet size of the ECS stuff compared to the stock tube. So should definitely help get rid of any bottlenecks in the airflow system. All of the charge pipes are out. Throttle body is done. Everything's out of the bottom. And what I've been doing is just kind of preparing these. Haven't really been clamping anything down yet, but getting everything prepared to go back in the car. I got the air sensor on and just got a couple more couplers and things like that to stick on. So I'm going to figure all this out. And so once I get everything figured out, we can start throwing these back in. And our first pipe is in. This one is coming from the turbo outlet and we've got it all tightened down with the bracket. It goes right down there and underneath to the intercooler. You can't really see it and there it is. So that's where it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the next one. Um, there's not really too much to show. Uh, it's just a lot of pipes connecting to couplers and loosening and tightening and just doing it over and over again. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the turbo inlet pipe or outlet, I think it's outlet, and uh, then we can get closer to wrapping this video up. All right guys, after a lot of moving around, reseeding pipes and couplers, we've got it done. So here's our charge pipes going in and out of the intercooler. Very nice powder coated red. Not really gonna be able to see it <clears throat> except for the top, so. It's cool. I like that it adds a little bit of accenting to the engine bay. This is a uh, next step would be an intercooler to really utilize all of this. And maybe that's what we'll have to do next. So 
let's get everything intake and everything back on and I will wrap this video up for you guys. Intake is back on. You can see the uh, charge pipe down in there. If you're looking close enough, you see that red powder coat. So very cool. I feel like I would need to get this red powder coated too. I don't know, it might be too much, but I don't know, I'll have to think on that. I think this looks good as is though. I got everything tight. I'm really hoping there's no boost leaks or anything of that nature because some of them were, they felt like they were loose, but they were also tight. Like the hoses weren't coming off. So we'll see. So that's gonna do it for this video. Um, it was a time consuming install, that's for sure. I'm really tired, I've been working on this for a while now, but worthwhile, should be in the long run, but right now I'm still working on getting the car like set up to do like a downpipe and tune, which might be coming soon. Stay tuned because the downpipe video is coming. So stay tuned for that. But thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the progress on the GTI today. If you are new to the channel, be sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and I will see you in the next video.